So I've managed to achieve something there that would have been a real struggle to do. In fact, I just plain couldn't have done it in any other way with inside of Edius. But that's not the best bit. Okay, so the best bit is I've now done one title. The editing section in the tutorial has 31 chapters. That's 31 separate titles. There is no way I'm going to spend that amount of time knocking up another 31 titles. But this is the good bit. Now I'm just going to use a very quick way of copying clips inside Edius. You might not be aware of it, but it's a really nice little shortcut. So, grab hold of the clip, start dragging. You notice as soon as I start dragging, I get this kind of second copy of it flying around there. Now if I let go, it just moves it. But if I grab hold of it, get your shady copy, then hold down on control and carry on dragging, I get a copy of the title. This has nothing to do with this title, it's just a very good way of copying clips on the timeline. So I've got a copy of it. Double click on the copy. And instead of going into the full viz titler, it comes into this. It's a mini viz titler. And this is the really cool bit. There's my words. Okay, I'm going to change it to something else. I can pick it up, move it around, I get all my nice little alignment options in there. Press C, it'll put it into the middle. I can do things like changing the leading on the words if I prefer them to be closer together. And now what I want to do is I want to do a save as. Instead of just saving it, instead of saving the changes, I'm going to do a save as, give it another name, and you get back into Edius, and lo and behold, I've now got another title. Stick the background behind it. All the same fancy animation, but with different words. Now that's cool. Of course, it doesn't mean that I can't go back into this title and change stuff. Let's double click on it. I'm in mini this title now. Let's click on the big T button and go back into full this title and then start customizing it. But this is great. If you need to do lots of titles that are all the same, and I did, hold down on it, start dragging, hold control, let go. Double click, change words, save as, new title. Now that's only a fraction of what this title can do. I mean, literally there I was just doing some words glowing around on screen. There's an awful lot of other things that this title can do. So another tutorial on them in the future, but just briefly coming back into the interface here. Come down here to the timeline, and you know, I've got your timeline where I see all my individual bits, but click on there, I got templates. I got templates for whole layouts, objects, different types of subtitles, shaders, so this is different text styles and sort of things that are popping up over here. Animation, backgrounds, movies, little 3D rotating earths. Let's take that one. I want to use that and throw it in my title. Double click, in it goes, position it, make it a bit bigger, play it. I've got the earth with a little glowy thing around it. Loads and loads of templates. Templates where the text comes in word by word, character by character. The really great thing about this title is when you start to do some of this kind of animation, okay, you've got a lot of templates, but you can totally customise it yourself. You're not stuck with just the templates, but there are loads of templates. There's loads of templates with all sorts of different things on them. So here we are, his Edius glowing, similar to the effect I used a second ago. But you also have maps of China flying in with graphics flying up all over the place. Now this is a template, you know what you're doing, you can do this stuff yourself. You have a template here with a little sort of thermometer popping in there, go back into the timeline, you can have a look at it, you can break it up into its individual layers, so there's a group here. What's that group? I don't know, let's click on the eye. There's an eye in there, that turns tracks on and off. Hey hey. No, I'm used to that kind of stuff in After Effects. I can turn off individual tracks of text. I can change them, I can pick them up, I can move them around, I can alter the animation. It really is the best animated titling program that you can get for Edius. In fact, of all the animated titling programs, bar maybe using After Effects, which is going to set you back 800 quid, this is definitely the best one that I've used. You also have an awful lot of tutorials actually with Viz Title. They're all on the CD in there. So if you actually want to go through and learn a bit about Viz Title, just come in here and play it, and you'll get a little animation playing. They haven't got any words on them, 
but they have lots of captions and they go through at a reasonable speed and that'll help you get going and we'll do some more tutorials hopefully which we'll post up on YouTube and we'll include them all on our Edius tutorial.